Commission President Ursula von der Leyen will address the Parliament before MEPs are allowed to intervene in what is expected to be a bitter and twisted affair. Senior parliamentarians have already issued scathing statements about Brexit in the build-up to the final main stage moment for Brussels since 2016's monumental referendum on our EU membership. But MEPs are set to overwhelmingly greenlight the UK-EU trade and cooperation agreement after being warned against voting it don and creating a fresh no-deal Brexit cliff edge. Their debate will kick off in under an hour and then they will vote on amendments to a resolution giving their official permission to ratify the future relationship pact. The full voting results will be announced tomorrow because of coronavirus restrictions meaning not all MEPs can attend the chamber in Brussels. MEPs will declare Brexit a historic mistake in the text used to officially endorse the trade deal, as revealed by Express.co.uk last week. The EU has always respected the UK's decision while insisting that the UK must also accept the consequences of leaving the EU and that a third country cannot have the same rights and benefits as member states, it adds. Last week the EU Parliament's International Trade and Foreign Affairs Committees voted overwhelmingly to recommend that MEPs support the agreement. Top MEPs, Luxembourg's Christoph Hansen and Austrian Andreas Schieder, warned that if the Parliament fails to endorse the deal it will trigger a fresh no-deal Brexit cliff edge. Terry Rienka, vice president of the Bloc of Green MEPs, said, this deal is not good because Brexit is not good. Every single aspect of the agreement would have been easier and better with an EU membership. The situation is also complicated because we cannot be sure how trustworthy the UK government really is. Still this agreement can be a starting point reconstructing what we lost due to Brexit. An important next step would be a return to the Erasmus programme, giving back to people on both sides of the channel the opportunity to study and work in Europe and the UK. David McAllister, the EU Parliament's Brexit negotiator, said the EU has decided to leave the European Union, the single market and the customs union in a context of regulatory divergence. This arises from the type of Brexit that the UK has chosen for itself, which cannot enable a completely frictionless trade. MEPs are also set to blast the negative impact on certain fishing communities, while recognising that the provisions on fisheries which establish a 25% reduction phased in over five and a half years represents a less damaging outcome than a complete closure of UK waters. And it calls on the Commission to remind the UK that its continued access to EU markets is directly linked to the access of EU fisheries to UK waters. Some MEPs, especially those representing coastal communities, fear that their fishermen will be shut out of Britain's coastal waters as the transition period expires in June 2026.
they will also bemoan that last-minute nature of the wrangling, which saw the future relationship deal secured on Christmas Eve last year. The extreme last-minute nature of the agreements, and the resulting uncertainty which is imposing high costs on citizens and economic operators and has also impacted the Parliament's prerogatives to scrutinize and apply democratic oversight of the final text of the agreements ahead of the provisional application, their resolution states. And MEPs will also call for more powers managing the UK-EU trade relation moving forward. They want to secure a role in the important decisions made by Brussels on the Trade and Security Pact, especially when it comes to future disputes that could result in legal action or trade sanctions.